video we're going to look at short run production. This will be a brief introduction. Okay, so production. Firms use a production process to turn inputs, these inputs sometimes called factors of production, like capital, labor, and raw materials. They take these inputs and they turn them into outputs. Capital refers to land, labor, factories, plants, offices, warehouses. Capital can be machines, computers, trucks, bulldozers, and so on. Labor refers to employees. Raw materials refers to things like oil, water, steel, fabric, flour, wood, rare earth minerals. So all of these factors of production are transformed into the production process to produce outputs. Cars, planes, boats, clothing, food, and so on. A production function shows a firm's maximum output obtainable from a given quantity of production inputs, given its current production technology. In mathematical shorthand, a production function looks like this, where the quantity of output Q is a function of units of labor L and units of capital K. We're going to assume that the production function describes what is technically efficient, that is, a firm produces as much output as possible from a given combination of inputs. We don't expect profit-maximizing firms to use more inputs than is necessary to produce a given level of output. Using more steel than is necessary to produce a car raises cost and lowers profit. That would be inefficient. So a production function is defining what is, te what is technically efficient. Short run. The short run is the period of time in which a firm cannot change the quantity of at least one input in the production process. So we have a couple of different types of inputs to consider. A variable input is a factor of production whose quantity can be increased or decreased. A fixed input is a factor of production whose quantity cannot be changed in the short run. In general, we assume that in the short run, labor is a variable input. Labor can be increased or decreased in the short run. There's enough time to add workers or reduce your workforce in the short run. But capital, at least in the short run, is going to be fixed. It takes a long time to build a new building, a warehouse, expand a restaurant, and so on. You can see in parentheses there might be some exceptions. But in general, in the standard production theory, we generally assume labor is variable and capital is fixed. The long run, compared to short run production, long run production, the firm has enough time to vary all of its inputs. It can build a bigger plant, it can build more plants, it can expand uh, its hospital, and so on. So how long is the short run? There's no specific time length for the short run, like a month or a half a year or a year. It could take a few years, for example, to build a new automobile factory, but it could maybe just take a half a year to expand a restaurant. So we can't put a specific time length on the short run. All we're going to say is the short run is a period of time in which at least one of the firm's inputs, namely capital, is fixed. Or sometimes another way of thinking about it, is that the firm scale of operations is fixed in the short run. In the long run, the firm can choose to be any size that it desires. It can increase its scale of operations or even reduce its scale of operations. In the long run, it'll have enough time to do that. All right, that will uh, be it for this video.